Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error message. We couldn't update system reserved partition in Windows 11 while installing the latest version of Windows updates or when you're trying to upgrade your Windows from the older version to your new version. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, before we get into the resolution, I would like to talk about why you would come across this issue. Now, the system reserved partition SRP is a small partition on your Windows installation not having any drive later assigned and it is hidden. It has basically two things, the boot manager and the boot configuration data. Now, in case if the system reserved partition is full or doesn't have a free space, then this error may occur. So some third party app may write up to system reserve partition and make it full. So once it is full, and when you perform to upgrade or installation, the title error may occur. Now you may identify what is system reserve partition by doing a right click on the start button. And then if you go to the disk management, and if you expand this window under the status settings, you, uh, the EFI system partition, that's the SRP system, the system reserve partition, where there is no drive letter assigned unlike the other drives. In this case, I have a EFI system partition where it is free. So in case if this date reserve partition is full or if it is being occupied by any of the file, that's when you would get this error message. So here's how you can go ahead and fix the problem. The first thing what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt on your computer by going to search box and type CMD in the search. Once you have the best match for the command prompt, you may do a right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you're on the command prompt window, you will have to go ahead and type the command mount VOL y slash s you can also paste the command from the video description and here uh, you may go ahead and hit enter and then you would get an option if you want to continue or not you may type yes and once this is done you will have to go ahead and copy another command which says cd space the next command what you will have to copy and paste is uh, to cd space efi slash microsoft slash boot slash fonts and that should take you to the fonts folder once you hit enter, you will have to, um, it will take you to the fonts folder. Once you're on the fonts folder, you will have to go ahead and enter another command to delete the fonts from the reserved space. So you can copy here and hit the enter, paste the command from the video description and type the command which says del space star dot star and hit enter. You would get an arm prompt to if you want to continue on the screen or not you may click on yes and that should go ahead and delete the fonts or the additional system reserve space from your part a system reserved partition drive once this is done you may go ahead and try to upgrade your windows and then try uh, that should fix a problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still not able to fix the problem then i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.